Hi everyone and welcome back to Nick's Diecast. For today's video, I'll be showing you and reviewing this 118 scale Norev Mercedes Maybach S650 Cabriolet. I got this model recently off of Amazon.com um, for $110 uh, plus shipping. Um, although I had some like leftover gift card balance and some cash back, so I only ended up paying about um, $90 for it. Um, and you can find this elsewhere on other sites, such as Diecast Model Wholesale and whatnot. The prices on this model seem to vary between $110, which I got it at, and $150. I'd say for that price range, this model is well worth it. But um, I wouldn't pay over probably like $160, um, including shipping for it. So this model um, bears a lot of similarities to Nora's Mercedes-Benz S-Class um, um, Cabriolet model. And, and that's because in... In real life, the Mercedes Maybach S650 is based off the S-Class um, Cabriolet by uh, by Mercedes Benz. Now their front, um, their lower front ends are different. They have a different like shaped grill and everything, but um, the overall shape of the cars are pretty much the same. Um, there's just on the Maybach version, there, there's a lot more upscale, um, like minor details and everything like that, like in the seats and in the interior and the paint colors and rims and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out there because I know some people might be confused on the difference between the S650 and the regular um, S-Class. So I'll go ahead and take a look at the front here. We'll start up here with the headlights. Norev did a really nice job with these headlights. Um, the real S650 headlights have kind of like a, have a crystal pattern in them. I think they're actual crystals too on the, on the real car, um, but they form a nice kind of, it looks like an LED pattern almost too, but Norev did a great job with that. Um, the, the halogen lenses are cast um, separately, as you can see here. And of course, there's absolutely no gap between the light lens and the metal work, which is very, very nice to see. So Norv did an excellent job with the center grille here and the center badge with this perforated um, looking mesh. It looks like it's made of metal. It isn't metal, but it's just made of a very, very high quality plastic. Um, but it gives you the impression that, that it's made of metal. Um, and the badge here, of course, is a separate piece. Well, this, well the star portion is separate, and then the um, perimeter matches these two uh, slats right here. This badge up here is a separate piece. I don't know if it's a sticker or what, but um, it is separate from the body. It's not just painted on or anything like that, like you know most budget models would, would have. This is an upper end model, so of course you're gonna get lots of finer details like that. The lower grille and bumper here it looks looks excellent. That same high quality chrome that Norv uses up on the center grille, they use um, down here as, as well. Um, there is some mesh detail, but it's actually not perforated, which is slightly um, disappointing. But the way that the car is angled, you can't really see the mesh at all unless you look at it. Like if you lift it up like this, you can obviously see it. But from like, looking at it like at a normal stance, you can't really tell that there's even even a mesh there at all. So if they did have it perforated, it really wouldn't be. Um, noticeable either way. The paint quality on this model um, is fantastic. Norev, um, this model is painted in the Cote de Jour blue color that was available on the real Maybach um, S-Class and it has the matching uh, blue convertible top of course and the matching dashboard and the uh, convertible top cover in the back. Um, but they nailed the paint job on this. Um, it sparkles in the light and it's applied very nicely. Um, when you like clean the car with like a soft cloth, it feels like you're like touching like the real car. It has the same kind of like clear coat. It might even be, they might even use like the automotive paint too. It's just very, very well done. Taking a look at the side of the model, you'll notice these Maybach badges on either side. Those are separate metal pieces, which is very, very impressive. The only thing is you gotta be very careful when you clean the model. They're not gonna, you know, rub off or anything, but I, over time, if you clean the model and you keep going over it, it might eventually um, get rubbed off or, or, or fall off. So just be careful when I'm cleaning the model, but the, but the badges look excellent. The fact that they're separate pieces um, and they're made of metal too, that's just awesome. Norv did a great job with these wheels here. Um, I know some people aren't really a fan of, of these Maybach wheels, but I happen to like them. I like all the spokes in them and everything. It has kind of like that blade going in the center there. They really chrome these out um, very nicely. There's also a, there's also a Mercedes Benz badge in, in, in the center there. It isn't like a separate piece, it's kind of molded in there. Um, but I think the real wheels are like that too, so it's not really that big of a deal. You do get steering on this model, although it's very stiff, and I don't really think there's suspension. I tried doing like a light push on both ends, but I, I couldn't get it to work. Um, and with these upper end models, I don't take any risks. I'm not gonna you know try to push on it until it you know moves or anything like that. 
And Norev's other models sometimes have issues with like the steering and the, and the suspension. Like you just feel like they're either really stiff or they're like kind of creaky, noisy, and a bit too loose. But I mean, the wheels themselves, like they spin very nicely and smooth and all that. Well, this one back here is a bit of an issue, but if you push down on it, you don't really see it. So uh, lower end models, you don't really have any um, worries about the wheels, but on these upper end models like Norev, um, any kind of wheel issue is a bit of a concern. Um, but any, but again, when the car is, you know, on display like this, you can't tell that there's anything, any issues with the wheels because you're not spinning them around or anything like that. Um, so continuing on the side here, Norev did do this silver pinstripe that goes down the whole side of the car and also this uh, lower one down here. They're painted in kind of like a matte-like silver and they look very, very nice. These pieces back here, they're actually separate um, chrome pieces along the side. I don't know if this whole thing should be like that same kind of light chrome, but either way, um, Norev, I think, did a good job with that stripe because it kind of goes all the way down and looks very, very nice. There's also a silver kind of perimeter going around the windshield, as you can see, and around uh, the top of the car. The uh, side mirrors are very nicely done as, as well. They're separate plastic pieces, but they're very, very sturdy. They, they don't move at all, and you're not going to risk them falling off um, at all. And of course, they have the same paint as the rest of the model, so you can't tell that, that, that they're made of plastic. Taking a look at the back of the model, Norv did a great job with these taillights back here as, as well. You can see kind of like that LED pattern um, across this portion and this portion here. And again, the lenses are nice and flush with the body and they're, and they're not loose or anything like that. There's also a separate chrome piece that goes around the top of the taillights, as you can see here. They did a very nice job with, with that. And they even put in these lower, uh, I guess, reverse lights or something down here. Um, they have a little, tiny little peg in them that you can't really tell from, from a far distance. And the exhaust pipes are very well done as well with the chrome surrounding them. And they're actually um, hollowed out too. All the badges back here are separate pieces and each letter and number is an individual metal piece. Very, very well done. Um, you can see there's the Mercedes-Benz badge and then the Maybach and the S650. Now, some of Norev's models, they only put the Mercedes-Benz badge but don't do any other badging. I have an S-Class um, sedan and it only has the Mercedes-Benz badge. They don't put in like the S550 or anything like that. But on this Maybach, they put in all the right badges um, on the back and then, as I saw earlier, on the sides too. So there's no missing badges. All the badges that are there, they're all separate pieces. So it just looks very, very well done. Um, I'm very impressed overall with the fact that they did all that. And of course, with this model, you do get a removable convertible top. So we'll take that off here. With the top on and the top off, the model just looks amazing. Um, and like with the top on, you can see it kind of has like a pillarless like coupe look and, it, and, it, and it's really, really cool. On the real Maybach, there's a single button in the center console and you can push it and then all the windows go down all at once. So that's, that's very, very cool. But um, the top, Norev did, did a great job with um, overall. Even the underside, they paid attention to the details. It has all like the wrinkles in it and everything. Well, I shouldn't say wrinkles, I guess like the, I guess, like, the lines, like the folding lines that, that, that the real top would have. Um, they are there. A lot of times on these removable tops on models, they won't put in like the extra detail underneath because you don't really look, look at that. But Norev actually paid attention and put that in. It's actually a pretty um, heavy uh, plastic piece too, I, I might add. So next we'll take a look at the opening features on this model. Um, we'll start back here with the trunk. So opening the trunk, you'll see that Norev actually gives you um, this like luggage set in the back. Um, and on the real Maybach, it actually does come with these four bags. Um, and they're actually the same colors as these two. I don't know if these come out or anything. I tried pushing on them. They don't really seem to want to move around. Um, so if anyone knows if they come out, um, let, let me know because I'm actually I'm curious about that. But um, they, they look nice overall. They have the same texture that the seats in the car have, and the handles are separately colored. Um, there's no carpeting inside the trunk, but you do get the luggage set inside, so that kind of makes up for it in a way. And you also get liner underneath the uh, trunk lid as well. And the perimeter is actually uh, fully painted, as you can see here. And there's a little silver uh, lip down there. So we'll go ahead and close that up. All right, so next we'll take a look at the engine of the model. There's a little, there, there's a very small button um, underneath that you can push to pop the hood. You have to use two hands, so I didn't show it on the camera because I had to put it down to open it. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up the hood and take a look at the engine. So Norev did an okay job with this engine. It isn't like superbly detailed or anything like that. 
Um, there's a lot of like kind of flat plastic in here. You can't really see much in the real Maybach, um, Maybach S650 engine anyway, because um, you're really looking more at like the interior and, and whatnot. But um, what's here that they did an okay job with, so you can see that there's a V12 badge up here. There's a slightly raised uh, Mercedes-Benz logo on this main block here. And this is actually all metal, this, this, surrounding, uh, this surrounding pieces here. So, and this car is very heavy, so I assume that part of that weight is because the engine has like the, this metal um, inside of it. So that's kind of cool to see that they did that. The underside of the hood is, uh, is pretty well detailed as well. There's actually a little bit of a lining underneath with like the matte black paint and everything. And the rest of it's painted in like a metallic blue to match the rest of the car. So go ahead and close that up. Now the centerpiece of this model, as I said, is, is the interior. So we'll take a look at that. Last but not least, of course, we'll open up the doors and then we'll take a look at this amazing um, interior. Nora did an excellent job with the interior of this model. Um, all the varying textures and everything, they really nailed. Um, you can see all the seats have a fabric seat belt with a separate like metal buckle on them. And the seat belts even feel like the real seat belts. They're very, very well done. Um, you do get carpeting, of, of course, throughout um, in the front foot wells and also in the back, even though it's kind of hard to see because the gap's kind of small between the back seat and the seat backs of the front seats. But you do get carpeting in the whole um, interior. Very, very um, well done. The seats have a very nice um, texture to them. You can see the diamond stitch pattern on them. And if you run your finger along, you can actually feel like a leathery um, texture. So that's really cool that they did that. Um, there is some detail. You can see there's some silver back here, like where the seatbelt would go. And you can see that they include the uh, Burmester sound system speakers up on top here, and that little Maybach um, patterning on there. Very, very um, well done. And the door panel detailing is excellent as, as well. All the buttons you can see are raised up for the seat controls and everything. They do a nice job with embossing those, uh, those cool speaker patterns on there. I'm not sure what this black feature is, but the real car has it, and Norv did a great job with it. They even actually mold the door lock in there, too. They do an excellent job of overall, and these pockets are actually functional, too, so that, that's very, very cool. And here's a better view of some of the door panel um, details. Excellent job overall. On the center console, you can see this is Maybach 1 of 300. I'm just, like, on the real car. And um, all the vents are nicely trimmed in, in silver, and all the buttons you can see are separately um, cast and are detailed well with the paint uh, underneath the vents there. Even on, on the steering wheel, um, Nora have put the little tiny Maybach inscription on that lower spoke there, and the Mercedes-Benz badge in the center. Um, and you can see even that they even turn on the uh, GPS screen there, and you can see that the, that, that the gauges are well detailed too. Also, the steering wheel controls are nicely detailed as, as well. You can see, you can't really read them too well, but um, Norab does paint them, so they look very, very nice. And this windshield is actually made of metal, I forgot to mention. Extremely sturdy, so that also contributes to this car's, uh, to this car's heavy weight, is the fact that the windshield is also made of metal. Norab also did an excellent job with, with these pedals down here. It looks like they're made of metal, but, but they're not. Um, Norab always does a great job with, with that kind of stuff, with their details. Of course, on the real car, the pedals are made of a brush aluminum, but on here, they have a nice effect with the silver paint and everything like that. And of course, you get the Maybach um, inscription, I should say, in the, in the door sills here. So that looks very, very nicely done. And there's a better view of the uh, interior for you. And the back seats include the uh, center, the little kind of mini center console here with the Maybach inscription. Um, and the vents are actually trimmed in, in silver too, so they, they look very nice. And even there's even some little speakers in the back seats too that Norv does a nice job with uh, detailing. Now this whole seat is one single piece back here. It would have been nice if they did it as separate pieces. I'm pretty sure on the real uh, Maybach, the seats are separate or aren't like one whole piece. And same thing with like the headrest too. So they cheaped out a tiny bit in that sense, but it's really not a big deal at all because it looks excellent. Just everything about this interior is um, excellent. I'd say it's definitely well worth that $110 to $150 uh, price range overall. On the undercarriage, uh, Norv also does some nice uh, detailing with the exhaust system and uh, heat shield and whatnot. They use several different colors, like the, it looks like gold and the silver and everything. Could use a bit more detailing, but I'd say it's far better than most model cars underneath. A lot of them are just like painted all black or chromed out and everything, but on this one they do a nice job with the details um, underneath, as you can see.
overall, this model is just beautiful. Um, I'd say it would look good in any collection of 118 scale cars if you have Mercedes Benzes or convertibles or even just S classes or a mine box. It's just excellent, especially in, in this light blue. I highly recommend it. It just looks amazing with that kind of whitish tan um, interior and with like the matching blue top and everything. It's a very, very um, nice model overall, and I'm glad I have it. As always, uh, feel free to comment down below with uh, your thoughts on the model, and be sure to like and, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.